Hello guys, it's Red Elric here. Um, I've always liked the St. Patrick's Day pipe 2015 by Peterson. Lovely rich green colour. The rustication round the top looks a bit like Celtic braiding. And a nice little green band in between the two silver bits. This is the 105 model still never smoked it and the reason is because this was the only one i had the opportunity to buy and i didn't want to smoke it until i perhaps found sourced some other ones and you know decided which model i liked best but it's one of those things it was a limited edition pipe and i haven't had the opportunity to buy any more there's been some on ebay which are all they're already pretty well damaged so this is one that's mint and having thought about it it's probably the best shape for this particular um, edition <clears throat> so even if I had the opportunity to buy other ones I'd probably end up getting rid of those and sticking with this one the other reason I haven't smoked it is because Again, like a lot of Peterson tobaccos, especially the limited edition ones, um, they don't come out in the UK. They, this year's 2018's um, St. Patrick's Day tobacco didn't come out in the UK. So I ended up smoking a different tobacco in that year's St. Patrick's Day pipe. So I've got no chance, zero chance of getting tobacco for this one. So I've got what I thought would be a good tobacco for that pipe. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. But I know it means like Ireland forever. Or oh, that's a rough translation anyway. And it's an Irish whiskey tobacco. Lovely, lovely design on the plastic wallet. So I ordered this and I haven't even smelt it yet, it's still sealed. So again, they really make a nice job of the the bag. So it's just as I say it's supposed to be Irish whiskey. Mm. nice golden tobaccos there it's got to be Virginia's uh, it's got that unmistakable sort of silage gra cut grass sort of smell and a little bit fruity I'm well, hoping that there'll be a hint of the whiskey flavour a brilliant mixture of flu cured Virginias, toasted white burleys, and sweet black Cavendish, sprinkled with aged Irish whiskey, refined and mellow, with an I can't read it in this light, and I think it's inviting aroma. It's hard to read when it in this light when it's written in gold, but. So I'm going to stick some in my pipe and smoke it. I've just half filled it because I like to break them in slowly. Build the cake up from the bottom up. something that reminds me of English blend tobaccos but 
I know this shouldn't taste like that, but... Mmm. I know what it is, it's um it's almost like tobacco that's been that's too old has been left to completely sort of dry out and then been rehydrated. Sorry about the uh, noise from upstairs. Mm. First impressions, I'm not mad on it. As I say, it's like perhaps I found a, a packet of clan that I put away a while ago. And hadn't sealed it and it was as dry as sawdust and I tried smoking it and it just tasted it wasn't right okay. I've moved to the kitchen because of the noise on the stairs so sorry about the shine off the top of my head oh the hob was hot Oh. I'm not over the moon about it. Um, feeling a bit disappointed and let down because I was expecting great things from it, judging by the packet, but just shows you can't judge a book by its cover. It's not great. I'll give it a couple more goes and see if there's something about it that you know goes in its favour but and it's really burning hot I mean that I hope this doesn't blister because that feels uncomfortably hot and I haven't been chugging away on it mm, she dropped it so I think I'm going to have to find something else quick for this one Oh well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.